So, EA dropped uh, Icon Swaps 1 tonight, and we have a ton of brand new packs in the Icon Swaps to have a look at. For cheap, fast, and reliable foot coins, check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description, and use the code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're talking about Icon Swaps 1 and what you should take from your tokens. So, EA dropped Icon Swaps 1 tonight, and they've dropped in a total of 8 tokens out of 18 today. Um, so for the next, uh, foreseeable, I think it's until the, until the next season, um, I saw actually a date on Twitter. I'm going to quickly go find the date for you, um, so I can be 100% sure on that. From December 11th to January 1st, 8 player tokens will be available, and the remaining 10 player tokens will be available from January 1st to February 12th. So, we have roughly about 3 weeks to get the 8 tokens that are currently available, and those involve uh, playing with 5 first owned players from uh, each of the top 5 leagues, and as well, uh, it involves, I think, squad battles, which is playing with Eredivisie players, MLS players, and Championship players. Um, the bottom 3 of these are actually pack rewards, they are not player rewards, so you don't get yourself um the tokens from the bottom three objectives here um but they give you like two player packs or whatever i think ea just trying to you know give a mix of stuff out there um but these are honestly pretty easy to complete uh it's all on friendlies as well which obviously is you know it's slightly skill-based matchmaking it's not as harsh as div rivals but it's still you will play against people around your similar skill and then obviously squad battles is min world class difficulty which in my opinion is actually quite hard i struggle against squad battles but that's just me personally. Um, but we're going to talk about the best combinations about uh, Icons Source 1. You know, what you can take, what the best combinations for Icons will be. Now, from the first, uh, you know, first glance of it, we've got a lot of new packs. And I'm actually really excited for it. So we've got two ultimate packs with two tokens. For three tokens, we have got an 85 uh, plus times five pack. So you get five players. Each are rated 85 or higher. So that's very interesting. It's like a half a 50k pack, essentially. Um, but everything's 85 plus. So you're probably guaranteed a walkout, I would say, unless your pack luck is absolutely hideous. Uh, you've got an 83 plus times 25 pack. So it's almost an ultimate pack of all 83 pluses. Now, if you think about ultimate packs, they give out usually like a decent amount of walkouts from them. And that's with no racing guarantee. Now imagine all of the players in there are 83 plus. I think they might give out some decent, uh, you know, decent packs back. We have Nemanja Vidic, base Vidic as well, the best version out of the two available right now um, for just seven tokens. So that's actually available literally from right now. Uh, if you go and grind out all eight tokens straight away, you can get this base Vidic in your team instantly we have the base icon pack for eight tokens again instantly available if you want to try your luck for the fourth time if you did all three base icons that we've had so far um you can go and do that we have a haji for nine tokens so it is uh mid haji to be fair it's a decent card um it is a nice card however 82 stamina and i think you know by i'm not gonna lie by the first of january i think there'll be a lot of different players available anyway um Got the base or mid icon pack for 10 tokens. So that's either a base or a mid icon pack, which I think is pretty cool. I like EA bringing out brand new uh, types of uh, packs. We've got, uh, I think this is mid -Suker for 11 tokens, which is exci exciting because this is a really good card. I actually tried this card out um, not too long ago and he's got a really lethal left foot. So 11 tokens for a mid uh, We have 12 tokens for a mid icon pack, 13 for prime Komen. 14 uh, for Prime Raikard, which I honestly thought these would be swapped. I thought you'd do less tokens for Raikard and more for Komen. Just in my personal opinion, I think Komen's better. But EA, you're doing what EA want to do. We have 15 tokens for a mid or prime icon pack. So it guarantees you either a mid or a prime icon. Again, another exciting pack right there. 16 for an 80 to 89 plus mid icon. Now, this is what I said, actually. I thought we'd get rating guaranteed or rating minimum icon packs. And we actually got them. We have a, a base icon player pick. So you get three different base icons to pick from. And they'll obviously be random. And then for 17 tokens out of 18, you can get yourself a mid Thierry Henry. Which is actually, in my opinion, a bit of a letdown. I Like, given that you can get a base for each of seven tokens, I, I feel like 17 for mid, mid Henry is a little bit... You know, a bit much to ask. I would have thought you put at least a prime icon there, but there are all the tokens available. Now, in terms of the best combinations, uh, for me personally, if you want guaranteed icons, right? You don't want a pack, you don't want to try your luck, you just want to go with the guaranteed icons. I would say go with base Vidic and mid Suka. Both are very decent cards. I think Base Village is a very good card. Um, I've used this card a lot this year, you know, being a Man United fan. And with a Shadow on, he's one of the best CBs in the whole game. Um, there are times where he gets bullied a little bit. That's what I will say. However, 
Still a really solid card. And for only seven tokens, if you're looking for just icons, this is honestly, in my opinion, has to be top of your list. If you're not interested in packs, you don't care about opening packs whatsoever, I'd say base Vidic, get him at the top of your list because he's a fantastic CB. Um, and I'd say Mitsuka because another really good card. Uh, for me, he's a very decent card. And obviously, they they add up to the 18 tokens available. Um, you could also go Haji if you're just looking for guaranteed icons. But I think Suka's a better card. I'd even play Suka over Haji at Cam, to be honest. Um, this card is very nice in game. Good agility and balance. Uh, good shooting. Uh, good pace and good physicals. And I think that... You know, partner him up up top with someone fast and, and agile, maybe like an Mbappe or something. Um, and you've got two very nice icons there if you go with Suka and Vidic. Now, if you're going for packs, I would honestly say try your hand at either a mid or prime icon pack or just a mid icon pack. Now, I would say the better one to do out of the two would be mid icon pack and then go for a nice combination of either you go for two ultimate packs and an 83 plus or two ultimate packs and an 85 plus. Uh, for me, I'd do the 83 plus 25 and the two ultimate packs if you do all 18 tokens. Um, but I would say if you're going for packs though, you've got to be going for either a mid or prime or a mid icon pack. Now, 18 tokens available. You could go with a mid or prime and get two ultimate packs. That would be a really good combo too. Um, I think that Obviously, the middle prime icon pack is going to be the one that gives out the best because you can get prime icons in there, and there's so many really good prime icons. Um, but you know, the middle, the mid icon pack or the 89 plus mid pack as well are both really good. Um, if you're looking for, you know, you, you want to do a mid icon and uh, get to ultimate packs, the 89 plus mid icon is pretty solid. I would say there are a couple of really bad mid icon packs that are over 89 rated, but you got to think about it. You've got Hullet, Eusebio, R9, Dino. Um, you got all the new ones like Cantona. You've got, you know, Zidane. There's a lot of fantastic 89 plus mid icons. And I think this would be a really good shout. I would avoid the base icon player pick. And I would avoid the Thierry Henry. Now, on, on paper, theoretically, the base icon pack is a good shout. It's a good, you know, you, you get three different base icons to choose from. But you've got to think, by the time you grind all these tokens... In my opinion, the power curve will have shifted so much with all the new players we're going to get over foot freeze, you know, SBCs, objectives and stuff like that. I think that most base icons are not going to be usable and you don't get any kind of guarantee with this. So if you were getting yourself a, a pick of, you know, someone like a Cantona or a Eusebio or someone like that, then obviously it's going to pay off for you. But you're probably, um, I'll be honest with you, you're probably not going to get one of those good players. You're probably going to be getting like Gattuso... Rykard and, and Baby Hullet. And Baby Hullet is not a good card, you know? So I would avoid the base icon player pick at all costs. And I would avoid Tierra Henry because although it's a decent card, again, you'll probably get yourself an objective card that's better. Like, I would probably play that new Komen over Tierra Henry anyway. With 63 balance, it's just... The card isn't fantastic, in my opinion. Um, and especially for literally all of your tokens. You can't get anything else with your tokens not worth it. So I, I would avoid both of the last two. And it's a bit disappointing to see the last two, but everything else is so good that, you know, I'll let EA off. Now, uh, for me, what I'm personally going to be going for, I'm probably going to go for either the mid, the mid icon or the mid or prime icon, depending on how tedious it is to get the tokens. I'm not bothered about the online ones. It's the squad battle ones that is going to be very painful. They're going to be so annoying to try and grind. Um, but I'll probably grind them and go, I think, for a mid or prime icon pack. And of course, we'll upload the video when we get that. Um, but I, I totally understand if you're going for someone like a Coma or a Rykard. Um, although if you are, say your team isn't the best. Again, you've got to be going for Vidic. If your team's not the best, you've got to be going for Vidic and probably D Davos Suka or, uh, or a Haji, depending on what you need. That, that's my personal uh, advice. And then, you know, if, you, if you're going for a Vidic and you're not going to go for another icon... You have so many different packs to go for. And all of these are going to be very good packs to open. So that is my advice. Uh, that's what I would say in terms of Icon Swaps 1 and what you should go for, which icon you should pick, which pack you should pick. Um, all the new packs seem very exciting. And of course, we're going to have a very good month of content um, with people doing their uh, tokens and opening their packs. And I'm excited to open up all the new packs um, if you guys are opening them uh, and post videos on them as well. So thank you all for watching the video. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like down below. Subscribe if you guys are new around here. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you later.